Hey guys, I'm 12 here. I'm back with a movie video, and I'm about to load in my first Minecraft world that I ever made. And I'm about to show you something. Something. Has a bunch of comparators, repeaters, redstone, door latches, pistons, and a lot of other stuff. It's this thing right here. Of course, it's a Jeb door. Or is it? It's not working, but I know why. Anyway, right here is a Jeb door. I just have it inverted with the torch here. This is so that it remains closed and only opens when powered. Sort of like a door if you just do a basic lever and redstone. Now, this is it, and you, like, literally have no time to run through it. All you just do is make redstone this configuration above these, and you have two sticky pistons facing this way, two facing this way right in this area if the pistons were not extended. Make sure the frame, door, f the, uh, and then there's a spot in between the pistons, right in front of these pistons, when they're not extended right here, that will have the same stone as the door frame. And this is how you make it. Now what I'm going to do is increase the tick by one on all of these. The back row will always have one more tick than the front row because that takes because they activate at about the same time. Now because it takes about one tick for uh, the back row, it takes one tick longer for the back row to activate than the front row. So um, or the other way around. So they do this so that it evens out. Anyway. So it can always be, um, so the back row always has to be one more tick. So the most the back row can be is four, minimum is two. Front row, the most it can be is three, minimum of one for its tick. Now, the reason why this Jeb door, built similar to that, cannot work is because of all this stuff behind it. But what does this do? What is this, what effect does this thing have? And this... All prevents the pistons from working. All of this. But why would you want that? It's a lock. Because anyone, if they see a door on the door frame and they just see a button next to it, oh, press it and it opens, right? This is to deter people who, that you don't want in your base or don't want them to find your valuables to go away. Oh, it's a button that does nothing. Maybe someone put it there to try and troll me or something. But no, it is... Well, well, you could do it that way to make them think that, but it's actually linked up to this. This is a note. This is something I've done before. Actually, I do not know why we have a torch there. That torch is not needed. But this is a combination lock. Now, I've already shown in a previous video how to do this. I will link that in the description. Um, building that is essential to make this... But I already have that done. But uh, for this, how you make the combination and whatnot is very simple. It just needs reset as well. But for simplicity, I only made four instead of the original nine I did in the video. And what you do is you activate it. The code for this is one, two, three, four. Simplicity sake. And now if I go over here, it opens. But you don't have a whole lot of time because of the repeater delay. Unless I were to use a lever. But I'm not going to. Because then it would permanently stay open. But as you can see, it's at the maximum. It's at the maximum ticking. And you notice when you open it that there's a hole down there. Because you can't actually get through the back there where all that redstone stuff is. That prevents the door from not opening unless the right code's entered. So as you can see, I got stuck in this. And sometimes that does happen. So what you need to do is break it. And just remove the torch. And here's what you do. You put this here. And you restart it. Now, enemies will get suffocated in walls and whatnot if they have... If they are... They failed to do this. But as you can see, I got in in time. That's the whole point. I'm inside. I got my valuables. They're protected. I can add more gold, more diamonds, and iron. And whatever I collected on my mining expedition. 
and a safe room that would be built around this door behind it. Now the question is, how do I get out? How? This thing does it. Now why do I need all these repeaters? Well, it's going to take a while. It takes a lot of ticks. Ticks are, is, a measurement of red, is a measurement of time in redstone and how fast it moves. Each one needs to set to four tick the leg. And then we have two up here. So if I press this, and that should give me enough time to be right here and ready, and to try and get out. Now because I had to, because I exited out of flying mode at the last second, I forgot to fail to realize that as a part of that, I got stuck in it and I had to break my way out. But nonetheless, this is like a Jeb Door 2.0 because it is more secure. Because anyone could just go up to it and press the button and open it, right? Not anymore. Will not work unless you uh, input the right thing to this. By the way, if you uh, install this, which is not a vertical nor latch, I guess it is in a sense, but not the same as these ones, which activate to set up a code. Um, which is um, a good thing, because now you just press this, and it resets. Door does not work anymore from this side, nor this door in the back. Well, we'll watch it as it goes up, follows its path, and nope. Does not continue the path from behind because these the redstone current does not go through these repeaters because they are because this is preventing that along with this. Anyway, guys, hope you like this new Jeb door design that I made. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback. Please leave it for me in the comment section down below. If you have any questions, you can also send me them over Xbox Live. If you have, um, if you require any assistance with Redstone, I'm not saying you're crappy at it or anything, but if you wish to have any help or anything like that, you're more than welcome to message me on Xbox Live, and I'd be more than happy to help you. Without further ado, I will see you guys later with another video. Bye-bye!